Okay, I'm gonna do a quick demonstration on how to fold an origami crane. And you have to start with a perfect square of paper. And I'm just using wrapping paper because it makes nice creases. And I also was lucky that mine was marked on the back with some lines. So I was able to just do 10 squares by 10 squares. But if you don't have that, you're gonna need to measure it. And I would say start with at least 10 by 10 inches because if you get too small, it's gonna be really tricky to do some of the parts. So once you have a perfect square, you're gonna wanna do some folds, like first fold it on the diagonal like this and match up the corners and then make a nice firm crease. And if you don't have a perfect square at this point, you'll be able to see, and you can see I have a little bit of white edge there, but I'm not gonna stress about it. And I also messed up right there, but this is, this is a pretty good square. I've got a little left over on this side, so I think I'm gonna just bring it up just a little so that it matches up a little better. But yeah, if you don't have a perfect square, this is the time when you can take anything that's not on the square and trim it off. So the next step is to do the opposite. So take your paper and fold this corner to this corner. And then always crease very firmly. And if you do a lot of origami, you may have one of those little wooden tools that you, that you make your creases with. Why are the creases so important? The creases are very important to be tight and firm because that's where your fold lines are. That's where the origami paper is gonna bend. Now, the next fold, now you have an X. The next fold is been just to fold them in half this way. Again, press down the crease because in, in the next step, you want the paper to bend on that crease. So if it's not a firm crease, it's not gonna bend right. And then open it up and do the, the other fold, the other half, half paper fold. And just always line up the edges as much as you can gonna press down because in the next step I want the paper to bend on that crease so now I have an X and a plus sign I have every fold okay so now take the paper and, and place it like this in front of you and then take the top and fold it down here and then kind of hold on to that and while you're holding on to that, make the side bend in like this because you're gonna make a little box. And it will bend along those creases. Just work with it a little bit. Same thing on this side because this part's down and you hold and you pull the right side in and this will form a little box like this. So just kind of flatten it and make it lay down flat like that. Now I'll do that part again. Take the top, if it's open like this, take the top and then hold that down and then take the sides. You don't have to do this twice. I'm just showing it to you again. Take the sides and fold them in like this. Sometimes you have to kind of tease it to get it to cooperate a little bit, kind of work with it. So now you have a flat box. Now the next step is you have, this side is open, but this side is not open. This side is the closed side. So take the open side and put it towards you like this. Now take the left side and fold that over just to the midline. There's a center fold line. Fold it to the center, but not past it, because if you go past it or even on it, the next step won't work. So, so have it just to the left side of the, of the center fold. Make a firm crease with the back of your fingernail. Now, same thing on the right side. Take the right side, fold it over, almost right up to the center crease, but not on it, 
and not past it. Take a very firm crease. And then take the top and fold it down over that. And this top part, make a very firm crease because you want the paper to bend on this crease in the next step. Okay, so unfold all that and you have it in front of you like that. Now the next step is a little bit tricky. Take this top part and unfold it and fold it back over that crease line that you just made and then kind of work with it and get that to lay down flat. And I have to admit, that's a little tricky. When I first learned how to do an origami crane, I couldn't get that part and I kept watching the video until I got it, I just wouldn't give up. So what I did again, I have the paper like this in front of me with the opening at the bottom and I take the top part and I lay it back. Now I want to say here that if you have construction paper, it won't make good creases and it probably won't bend like this. So I made that lay down flat and then I turn it over and do the same thing. Open this part and make it bend back against that line and make it lay down flat and then kind of work with the ends to get them to lay down flat too. And at this point, if you can't get it to work, it's just possible that you didn't make good creases or that you've made a mistake up until this point. So I'm gonna kind of work with it a little bit. It's not cooperating right now. And then I think I went too far with this one, so I need to get that to lay down. So I'm just, I'm just working with it and, and trying not to tear the ends and get it to lay down as flat as you can. And now you have both sides laying down flat like that. Now you have an open end and you have a closed end. This is the closed end. Take the open end towards you and take the left side, fold it towards the middle and you're gonna go right up to, almost up to the middle crease line like this, but not on it and not past it, because if you do, this won't be able to be a free side. So I just took the left side and I folded it right up to the middle line. Same thing here, take the right side, just the one flap, not both of them, fold it right over to the center crease, but not on it and not past it. And then take your finger and, and try to get that to make a nice clean point like that. Turn it over, same thing. Take the left side, fold it right over to up to the center crease line. And then work with it and try to make a nice clean point. <clears throat> and I don't usually have origami papers, but wrapping paper works really nice because it just, you can see that it makes these sharp creases. So the last thing, take the right side, fold it over, just repeating the same steps and getting all four sides. Fold it over to the center line, work with it so that it makes a nice sharp point and a sharp crease. So now I'm almost finished. I'm gonna take, we have, we have these two free tail things. This is going to be the head and I'm going to take that and bend it up at a 45 degree angle. That's the head and this is going to be the tail. I'm going to take it over and fold it up at a 45 degree angle. Now I'm not going to leave it like that, but I'm going to make a sharp crease because it's important in the next step. Take the left side and open it up like this and then take your thumb and make it go inverted so it goes inside like that. Same thing with this, the right side. Open it up, put your index finger in there and then take your thumb and make it bend up inside of itself. And it will fold on that 
crease line that you just made, that 45 degree crease, this one is not cooperating as good as the other one, but I just have to work with it and make it go inside of itself. It's, it's, it's become inverted and, and these creases, you just need to press them down and make them sharp. So that's the tail and this is the head. <clears throat> and if you don't like the angle, because you want it to be sticking out at about a 45 degree angle, just adjust it a little bit. Now the last, the, the next to the last step, take the, this is gonna be the head of the, the crane, fold it down like this. It's just a very small little head like that, if you can see that. So I just took it and I just folded it down like that. Now this, this needs to be inverted like we did the other parts. So take your thumb and put it inside there and bend it down inside and invert it to the inside. So there's the head. And then the wings, just fold them down like this. So I'm taking those tall pieces that are sticking up in the air and fold them down like this. And now you have an origami crane. And then if you want to, you can take a pen and just make a little eye and then if you want to hang it on your tree or, or you know, on, it's, it makes a nice little ornament on your rear view mirror in the car, your parents' car, you can take something sharp and make a little hole right there and put a string through it. And I always put a piece of tape so it won't rip. And then you can hang it. So there's your origami crane. Thank you for listening.